So hello, this is Esther over here and on this channel we talk about independent spirituality and folk magic for free spirits. Today I am bringing another classic of Brazilian folk magic, Brazilian spell work. I will not appear in the video but I promise the content is going to be valuable. I am going to teach you how to make this little thing. It might look like it's nothing but this this is something that we call patua, which is the Brazilian style of a spell bag. This one here I've made months ago, something between six months and a year ago, and it's about time to make a new one. So that's what we are going to do today. The base for the patua that I make is something called fushiko. This is a fushiko. It is something used very much in Brazilian um, handicrafts. If you go to any grandma's house, you will see at least one item, one thing in the house that is made with fushiko. You can take several different colors. Anyway, when grandmas get their creativity and put it to work with fushiko, a lot of stuff can happen, but we are not doing exactly uh, handicrafts here. We are not doing decorations or anything anything. I decided to use the fushiko as a, as a base for my spell bag because it is very easy to make and I'm gonna teach you how to make it. So you will need white fabric. Please don't mind that mine is a little bit wrinkled. That will not be a problem. Then you will need a round kind of thing. This is an old uh, candle container, but I am going to use the round uh, shape that it has just so I can draw a circle here on the fabric. So you will draw a circle on your fabric like so. You will cut it So there we go, a round shape. Next, you will grab needle and thread, white thread, in order to close this little circle here. Get a little knot at the tip of the thread, like so. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a little knot there. And you will start sewing the edges of the circle like so. You see what I'm doing here? As the thread goes through, you will be able to pull it together and later on it's going to become a little bag like that. So you will go all around this little circle on the edges. If you pull it all the way in, you are going to get something similar to this. But that's not what we want. We are going to use this as a little bag. So keep it a little open like this so you can add in the desired ingredients. You can make this patois for different, like many different purposes, such as prosperity, attraction, glamour, love, I don't know, you name it. But for today's purposes, we are going to make it for protection. So I have selected three ingredients that I'm going to add to it. Your ingredients can be different, but this is what I am going to put in mine. Some garlic peels. Doesn't need to be a lot. As you add in the ingredients, make sure to say out loud what that ingredient is going to bring to the mixture, okay? I will also add one curry shell. May all foes stay at bay. And last but not least, I am going to add some rue. My rue plant is not very big yet. I am very hopeful for uh, spring and summer. Hopefully it is going to grow and I need, I need to water it. But I am going to take one little branch, this one. Oops. 
there we have it now we're just gonna pull it all together stitch it up to close this bag as you do the knots you can work some knot magic and say affirmations like I am protected I am protected I am and there we go additionally if you want to consecrate your protection spell bag you can place it on your altar with a candle dedicated to the deity or the entities that you normally work with asking them to bless and send energy to the spell bag that you have just created now you can simply carry this little bag with you. You can put it, I don't know, in your backpack, in your bag, in your, I don't know, you can even make a necklace out of it or some other type of jewelry. You can pin it inside of your clothes. Your creativity is the limit here. So that's what I had for you today, a protection little bag um brazilian style so i hope this little thing will be useful to you as useful to you as it is to me if you found this interesting and would like to see more make sure to pay a visit to my patreon page or join the membership of the channel if it is already available because on those platforms i share exclusive bonus content including spell tutorials uh, magical tools and many other things for only one cup of coffee per month. Thank you so much for watching and remember practice makes perfect. So let's get witching. Bye bye.